Well, there's been no shortage of excitement about the reboot of the Mach-Z name, and after significant testing of all of the cool features, I've got some opinion about how it stacks up. And right away, let me tell you, it's good. Like, really good. Skidoo has taken a name that held a lot of credibility for being a chest-beating, heart-pounding muscle sled, and we're able to bring it back to life in a package that I believe will truly answer the call of riders who want to identify with all that macho goodness a Mach-Z is known to be. At its heart is the reworked 900 Ace Turbo R motor that now produces 180 horsepower, so Skidoo says. But the big question is, does it produce 180? Is it more, or is it less? I can tell you when run against a much lighter 850 E-Tech 137 with a 125 Ice Ripper, the Mach spanked the 850 handily. No doubt, no question. Is it 15 horsepower more? Well, from my seat of the pants feel, it's all of 15 horsepower more, and could be more like 20, possibly even a bit more than that. Add to the horsepower fun is the launch control, where by flipping the throttle mode to sport and holding for a few seconds up, you can literally experience dumping the clutch on a 180 horsepower sled. You squeeze the brake, hold it wide open, and give it a few seconds to build max boost, then as soon as you release the brake, it's nothing but giggles and arm stretching power put to the ground. I can also say with authority, the Ice Ripper is a nice track, but you're gonna need to go for the Ripsaw two-ply track and give Woody's a call. This sled is begging for some serious grip that the Ice Ripper just can't provide if drag racing fun is in your blood. Now, all that extra horsepower is great, but how it's delivered on the trail is equally as important as the high-speed stuff, I think. While Mach Z's of old may have spent more time at the drags on the weekends, I can assume that this Mach will spend the majority of its time on the trails, albeit more wide-open trails, but trails nonetheless. I found the reworked hybrid cable and electronic throttle combo to be much more responsive and better suited to this engine. It's what we've been asking for on the 900 for years, and I know that you're going to love it. It's the feel of a two-stroke at the throttle, and that's what we've all come to know as the benchmark in snowmobiling. Now, I will say, if you're running the throttle mode in anything but sport, you're going to notice considerable delay in your throttle response as the engine runs 400 RPM slower in anything but sport, and therefore is creating less of a baseline air charge in the intake. To me, in anything but sport mode, the turbo engine feels lazy in its response to throttle input. So overall, is there some delay in the turbocharged air getting into the engine? Yes. Is it bad? No. But you will notice a difference to, let's say, something like the SRX, which shows no delay whatsoever. It's not a deal breaker for me, and the hybrid throttle helps to improve response over the previous 150 horsepower Ace. Corner to corner, it's fun and easy to ride, and when you get out of the gas quickly, you're gonna notice that the tuned up exhaust on the Mach delivers a symphony of macho noises that are pleasing to the ear and make a sporty, fast-paced trail ride even more enjoyable. This truly is the best sounding stock four-stroke sled ever produced. It just makes me happy to listen to it growl. So power is a big check mark on the Mach Z, but the other included premium feature that's pretty obvious is smart shocks from KYB. They're included in the Mach package, but will you be pleased with them? I must be completely and totally honest here. The lowest compression setting on the Smart Shock system is comfort, and in this setting, the Mach delivers what I will say with assurance is the best riding rear suspension ever produced. It's ridiculous how plush this skid is. You'll notice the rear suspension of the Mach is squatted quite low, and the running boards look like they're going to drag on the snow. Maybe it's the amount of sag, maybe it's the fact that these shocks are readjusting by the millisecond, or maybe it's both of those and the R-Motion geometry, but I'm floored with how good the rear skid feels. In comfort, I find the corner to corner to be excellent. The system stiffens up the outside shock to help with body roll. It'll recognize when you lift the skis and prepares for touchdown. And when you come into a big G out back braking bump, the suspension anticipates and compensates. It's beautiful, truly. When you get down to the brass tacks, the mock rider is still that same chest beating macho sledder at heart. But since the release of the previous version mock, dare I say that rider has grown up? With age comes wisdom, and with wisdom comes the enjoyment of the finer things, and the new Mach in all its macho glory also has a fair share of refinements, making it more than just a big mile per hour sled, but don't worry, it still stretches your arms and reminds you of why it says Mach-Z on the hood. <laughs>